dy by dx is equal to d by dx of a cos nx plus d by dx of b sin nx will give you minus a n sin nx plus b n cos nx very easy to understand dy by dx now again d by dx of dy by dx will give you d by dx of minus a n sin nx plus d by dx of b n cos nx so what we get here minus a n square cos nx minus b n square sin nx which is nothing but minus n square y so finally we get the required result d2y by dx square equal to minus n square y the same equation you might have seen in the physics also in simple harmonic motion let us write the formula once again d by dx of cos nx will give you minus sin nx and d by dx of sin nx sin x into n will give you this is within the angle you get n cos nx so using the both results here we got d2y by dx square equal to minus n square y similar result you might have seen in the physics d2s by dt square is equal to minus ks it comes in simple harmonic motion you have seen means double derivative of displacement is equal to minus times of some constant in displacement or this is also called as acceleration acceleration is equal to some constant times of displacement simple harmonic curve